And the important thing about our atmosphere is the relationship between the energy coming in from the sun and the energy that's being re-emitted from the earth. And this graph shows very nicely that the sun's energy, electromagnetic radiation, is in the shorter wavelengths. It includes ultraviolet and the visible light spectrum. Whereas the energy that's being emitted by the Earth, the Earth is just at the right temperature. Though that energy is in the long wavelengths, in the infrared, and there's almost no overlap between the two. So now when we think about how the atmospheric components, the gases and the particles and the surface of the Earth interact with these two very different kinds of radiation, it provides us with some idea of the flexibility and, and the, um, the um, um, plasticity of the system. The incoming shortwave and re-emitted longwave radiation also gets scattered by the gases and particles in the atmosphere. And there's two kinds of scattering. Raleigh scattering occurs when the diameter of the gas or the particle is smaller than the wavelength of the radiation. So it's mainly the shortwave radiations that are being uh, scattered. Me scattering occurs when the diameters are around about the same size as the wavelength. And different components of the incoming radiation are scattered by different gases and particles. For